Another move in the dispute between condo owners in a Manatee County community and KB Home. The giant home builder has filed a lawsuit in federal court against five current or former Willowbrook residents. Ted News has been following these complaints about construction in the Willowbrook neighborhood and the ongoing repairs for more than a year now. Reporter Catherine Birch has reaction to the lawsuit from Manatee County. Even as millions of dollars of repairs go on here at Willowbrook, KB Home is targeting five people with this lawsuit, and the defendants have been some of the most outspoken about the problems here. Organized protests alleging shoddy construction at Willowbrook began more than a year ago, and now some of the people who started it all are named in this federal lawsuit. They include former Willowbrook resident Armando Oyolo Delgado, who thinks the suit aims to quiet critical voices. You think about it, it's a Fortune 500 company going up against, you know, Joe Homeowner. You know, we don't have the funds to spend on lawyers and fight and... and the suit alleges Delgado and other defendants were involved in computer hacking, intercepting electronic emails sent from computers in this trailer, emails between the contractor handling Willowbrook repairs and KB Home. Delgado calls the charges outlandish. You know, I'm a construction guy. They're accusing me of hacking. The lawsuit also aims to have this website pulled down. Started by Andy Smith, the KBHome.com documents complaints from around the nation about the home builder. KB Home objects to its domain name, citing trademark violations and content, saying the site disparages and damages KB's reputation. Smith says he runs the site in order to educate consumers. I just feel like uh, KB Home is uh, trying to, to bully the little man and shut us down from uh, exercising our First Amendment rights to let people know. KB Home declined any on-camera or phone interviews, but issued this statement about the lawsuit. KB Home has brought this suit to defend itself against computer hacking and improper infringement of its trademark. We have been working diligently and at great expense to address warranty requests of our homeowners in the Bradenton area. In this process, we have accepted fair criticism and we will continue to do so. The hacking and other conduct described in this suit is illegal and we intend to hold the responsible individuals accountable for their behavior to the fullest extent of the law. Some of the defendants fear this lawsuit could crush them financially. Andy Smith, for one, wants to put the word out that he's looking for an attorney to take this one on pro bono. Reporting from Manatee County, Catherine Bursch, 10 News.